Today we're looking at the 2023 Prius. This is Toyota's latest model of the hybrid they've been selling since 2001. In fact, the Prius was the world's first mass-produced hybrid car. Toyota sold some 15 million Priuses globally. So how does the 2023 compare with Honda Insight and is it worth buying? Today I'll give you the rundown. Jump back some 22 years ago, all the way back to 2001. When the Prius first came out, it was a small four-door sedan. Then, around 2003 or so, Toyota redesigned it as a hatchback shape, and it's been that shape ever since. Well, up until just now. The 2023 Prius marks the arrival of the fifth generation Prius. It's the most fuel efficient Prius ever. I'm talking up to 57 miles per gallon combined. It's a sportier car with larger wheels and more modern interior. And that's a welcome change considering the previous generation, which started with the 2016 model, which faced some controversy about its looks. Some people saying the last generation was controversial, regrettable, or even hideous. But Toyota's 2023 Prius is a different story. The silhouette is decidedly more sleek. The nose is much lower and the hood rises into a windshield at almost the same angle. So there's uninterrupted visual continuity there. And frankly, it's more sci-fi eye candy than the last generation was. This design makes the Prius more aerodynamic than the previous model. The split rear window, which has been a Prius hallmark for three generations, doesn't exist in the new 2023 Prius. And the rear door handle is hidden in the roof pillar trim. You also have available lightweight 19-inch aluminum alloy wheels that were specifically designed for the Prius. And you'll find slim LED headlights and a light bar on the rear between the taillights. The 2023 Prius comes as a hybrid or plug-in hybrid, which is called Prius Prime. Inside the hybrid, you'll find two liter inline four that's larger than last year's engine. There are also two motor generators with higher output ratings, but the lithium ion battery in the hybrid has a lower capacity of 0.9 kilowatt hours. On-demand all-wheel drive is available as an option on all three trim levels, which adds more than 100 pounds to overhaul weight. This hybrid delivers up to 196 horsepower. That's 60% more horses than last year's models. Last year's model only had 121. Toyota also improved the all-wheel drive system so it can now operate at all speeds instead of cutting out above 43 miles an hour. Acceleration-wise, you can go 0 to 60 miles an hour in 7.2 seconds for the base model, or 7 seconds with the optional on-demand all-wheel drive. That's around 2.5 seconds faster than the previous generation's 9.8 seconds. Toyota also improved other aspects of the Prius in this new model. For example, you'll see less noise and vibration in the powertrain and tires. Even if you're accelerating really hard, the new Prius sounds smoother than before. Toyota also brought in better brakes for the new Prius. It's firmer and has less of the typical squishiness you often find with regenerative braking systems. Also, the infotainment cluster is a little more mainstream. It's now conveniently located in front of the driver instead of in the center of the dash. In the lower trims, you get an 8-inch touchscreen in the center stack. And in the upper trims, you get a 12.3-inch touchscreen. Both the lower and upper trim touchscreens use the latest Toyota Audio Multimedia System. It's also more engaging to drive. I'm talking about improved seating position, low center of gravity, added steering feel, and better overall experience behind the wheel compared to previous models. When it comes to safety, the 2023 Prius comes standard with the latest 3.0 version of Toyota Safety Sense. Pretty much, it's a bundle of advanced driver assist systems. I'm talking about features like automatic high beams, adaptive cruise control, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, road sign detection, and active lane control. On top of that, blind spot monitors with rear cross traffic alerts also come standard. Here's the interesting thing. Despite the positive press around the new design and changes, believe it or not, Toyota has relatively low expectations for the Prius. It just doesn't expect much sales growth. Toyota U.S. President of Marketing, Lisa Matarazzo, said that Toyota is expecting annual sales of around 35,000 units for the standard Prius. I'm talking about the non-prime version. That's more than in 2021, but just barely. In 2021, Toyota sold almost 34,000 Prius hybrids. And bear in mind, that was during the middle of the global supply supply chain shortage which you're still going through. To put that into perspective, back in 2012 and 2013, the Prius saw sales of over 230,000 units. So why the huge gap? Well, the thing is, Toyota has more hybrids and EV options across its lineup today compared to 10 years ago. In other words, consumers have more options to choose from. A few years ago, if you were looking for a fuel-efficient Toyota hybrid, your main choices were the Camry or the Prius. That was it. Today, you can choose a RAV4 hybrid, RAV4 Prime, standard Prius, Prius Prime, hybrid, 
hybrid Tundra or the all-electric BZ4X, not to mention competitors who are also offering non-gas options. Toyota believes that it ultimately is in the market's hands of what people will buy. One of the Prius's competitors is the Honda Insight. The Insight was one of Honda's first hybrids. It debuted in 1999, but never saw the level of success that the Prius achieved. But it sold enough for Honda to continue churning it out for its three generations. Here's the thing, Honda's killing it. You won't see a 2023 Honda Insight. The 2022 model year was the last year of its life. Anyway, if you're wondering how the 2023 Prius stacks up compared to the last year Honda Insight 2022, well, the Insight outputs less horsepower. It outputs 151 horsepower as opposed to Prius's 191. So the 2023 Prius offers more power and faster acceleration. The Insight is also less fuel efficient than the Prius. The Insight comes with a EPA estimated fuel efficiency of 55 miles per gallon in the city and 49 on the highway. The 2023 Prius has an EPA estimated 56 seven miles per gallon in the city and 56 miles per gallon on the highway. But let's talk about price. The base trim is the LE that starts at 27,450 bucks. There are six different trims, the highest being the limited all wheel drive which starts at just under $36,000. Before you jump and get a 2023 Prius, there are a few cons you might want to consider. With everything, there's always a trade-off. For example, remember how I mentioned the new and sleek redesign? Yes, it's more attractive, but it comes at a cost. The problem is, because of this car's lower roof line, you now have a lot less headroom than before. If you're a short person, that might not be a problem. But if you're more on the taller side, well, you know the roof is so low, it can make it difficult to get in and out of the front seats. For the rear seat, if you're over about 5 foot 10, it'll probably be less comfortable than you expect. There's also a question about cargo space. Again, because of the redesign, the 2023 Prius has a lot of cargo capacity, around 7 cubic feet of it. So now you're left with just 20.3 cubic feet of storage behind the rear seats. Of course, you can increase cargo space if you fold down the back seats, but then you'll need to sacrifice passenger space, so just be aware of that. Also, if you peek inside, there's good news and bad. The good news is the interior finish and materials haven't gotten any worse than the previous Prius models. But then again, it hasn't gotten any better either. Contrast that with typical redesigns done by other car makers, which usually include a major upgrade or design change to both the exterior and the interior. True, a Prius isn't anywhere near as luxurious as a Lexus. But even with affordable models today, in any new generation, you expect to see improvements in soft touch surfaces and material quality. But in this particular area, Sadly, the 2023 Prius falls behind the competitors. The new Prius also has a problem with rear visibility. Reason is because Toyota retired the horizontally split rear window in the 2023 model. Now this feature has been a Toyota Prius trademark for years. You'd hope that visibility would improve because of this change, but actually the single pane remains on the small side and it creates its own type of visibility issues. Toyota's aware of the problem and that's why the top limited trims come available with the new rear view camera mirror to address this. On top of that, the deep dash, deeply angled windshield and thick front pillars still make forward visibility more difficult than it should be. Most of you know I like Toyota's brand. Historically, Toyota has valued form over function. And when it comes to the Prius, previous Prius models stood out because they were unlike other aggressive cars on the market. With the Prius, there's a bare minimum you expect. But with the 2023 model, Toyota explained that styling took priority in the redesign for the 2023 Prius. In fact, it used the adjective aggressive a few times to describe the car's new look. And it shows. The car is prettier than before, yes. And it shines in many areas for sure. But for some of the basic things, well, they can kind of fell short. Choosing a car model is a very personal choice. It has to meet your personal needs. So if you're not fully sold on the 2023 Prius already, eh, you'll probably wonder if it'll be better to hold off and wait a year until the 2024 or even the 2025 models come out. So what can we expect for the 2024 or 2025 Prius? Will we finally see an all-electric Prius? There's no news on whether that'll be an option in the future yet, but no doubt. We'll get clarity in the months to come, especially with Toyota transitioning to their new CEO. For now, there's also the Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid or the prime option, of course. It's thousands of dollars cheaper than many other battery electrics on the market. Because it does produce a basic engine sound, the Toyota Prius PHEV reduces the risk of an accident compared to battery electric EVs that lack sound or have really low sounds. In other words, pedestrians and cyclists can hear the car rather than be caught by surprise. 
Now with Prius Prime, you can charge at both gas and electric stations. So you have that versatility and added option compared to a battery electric. If you happen to run out of battery, as long as you still have some gas in the tank, you can switch over to fuel. By the way, in a typical EV, the battery power is significantly diminishing from freezing temperatures. But in a Prius Prime, if you're traveling in the cold, you have the option to switch to the combustion engine. So now you tell me, what do you think of the redesigned 2023 Toyota Prius? Is it better than before? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.